The Patrician Peacocks and the Overweening Jay This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Once a flock of stately peacocks promenaded on a green. There were twenty-two or three cocks, each as proud as seventeen, and a glance, however hasty, showed their plumage to be tasty. Wheresoever one was placed, he was a credit to the scene. Now their owner had a daughter who, when people came to call, used to say, You really ought to see them peacocks on the mall. Now this wasn't to her credit, and her callers came to dread it, for the way the lady said it wasn't recherche at all. But a jay that overheard it from his perch upon a fir didn't take in how absurd it was to every one but her. When they responded, You don't tell us, and to see the birds seemed zealous, he became extremely jealous, wishing, too, to make a stir. As the peacocks fed together, he would join them at their lunch, culling here and there a feather, till he gathered quite a bunch. Then this bird of ways perfidious stuck them on him most fastidious, till he looked uncommon hideous, like a Judy or a Punch. But the peacocks, when they saw him, one and all began to haul, and to harry and to claw him, till the creature couldn't crawl. While their owner's vulgar daughter, when her startled callers sought her, and to see the struggle brought her, only said, They're on the mall. It was really quite revolting, when the tumult died away, one would think he had been molting, so disheveled was the jay. He was more than merely slighted, he was more than disunited, he'd been simply dynamited, in the fervor of the fray. And the moral of the verses is that short men can't be tall, nothing sillier or worse is than a jay upon a mall, and the jay opinionative, who, because he's imitative, thinks he's highly decorative, is the biggest jay of all. End of The Patrician Peacocks and the Overweening Jay